I was driving in a car um, with, a, with a young woman. At the beginning of the dream, she seemed to be um, a particular person I, 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 I know, who, in fact, a student, former student of mine. Um, and the, the central part of the dream involved an episode where I could look out through the top of the car, uh, it was at night, and see the whole dome of the sky very vividly. And, and the stars seemed to be extremely close. I could see them not as points of light, but, but as spheres, as solid spheres. And I could make out all kinds of details, such as the, the rings on planets like Saturn and Jupiter, which one wouldn't normally see. Even, even in the dream itself, I remember being very, very struck by this, very impressed by this. Um, I remember remarking to my companion that it would be a beautiful night for going for a walk. This dream begins, I'm driving by night with a female companion. It is, therefore, he is not at home, he's not in his professional situation at the university, He's not milling around in a pub with other people. He is driving at night with a female companion. And there, you, one could then ask him, how does one feel in such, such a situation? That's a situation where one relaxes, where one, think, where one uh, puts aside the, one's daily worries, one is open to nature, to, one is open to seeing something new, or uh, it depends on the relationship to the feminine companion, what else one has in mind. <laughs> but it suggests also a rather, a, possibly a love situation, or at least a situation of positive companionship, in contrast to intellectual effort or social uh, amusement or so on. And it is night. Then we, we have to say, well, what, ask ourselves, what is it in the night? Again, in the night, we are inclined to be more open, more romantic, uh, more reflective, because our attention is not uh, drawn away by telephones and outer things. Uh, it is a moment of uh, relaxed uh, reflection in general where also the feeling and the repressed other sides of the personality come up. And now they look, he looks up to the sky. The sky is, has always been one of the most fascinating sights for mankind. And if we go into the history of mankind, the stars have always been divine figures, gods, even the Bushmen in the Kalahari Desert see in every star constellation the great hunter or the great god in each constellation. And the stars is the realm where, according to myth, we ca our soul comes from and where it returns after death. In, in the stars, and if you think of the history of astrology, and astrology has been spread not only in the West, but also in India, China, and everywhere. In all high civilizations, we have astrological traditions. There, the stars always served to, to prognosticate the future, to find out the future, not only of a person, but of mankind. Uh, in China, uh, a whole group of uh, Astrolog astrologers had to watch the sky day and night and report to the emperor uh, all signs in the sky which were uh, interpreted as uh, relating to the fate of the Chinese empire. And in a similar way, in antiquity, everything was seen in the sky. Do you feel that the destiny of individuals and societies is related to the constellation in the stars? The constellations in the sky represent the background constellations of great historical events. As if in our deeper unconscious we are not isolated, we are uh, linked up with the whole of mankind. We are, and, and mankind is dreaming a dream along, which amounts for the changes in politics and religion and everything. 
if you think only how much the outlook of mankind has changed in the last 30 years, you see how such big collective changes take place. And to look at the sky could therefore be seen, he's looking at the deeper constellations. Constellations comes from the word stella, star, the togetherness of stars. Uh, the deeper constellations of collective and of his own personal life. Why does the dreamer try to find the constellation in the stars? He needs an orientation. Where am I in this time? What is my task? And so he looks up to the sky and sees especially this combination of Jupiter and Saturn. Now Saturn, as is well known, is an evildoer scorpions, serpents, the donkey, and so on, belong to his realm. He is a dark, uh, destructive spirit. And Jupiter is, in general, the star of the kings, of the king of justice, of uh, uh, worldly expansion, of a royal personality, of magnanimity, and all the positive qualities of a royal personality. So what the dream tells the dreamer is that when he looks for the constellation of time and naturally also of his own life there is a combination of extreme opposites it's a moment of change of where destructive and constructive forces are constellated simultaneously uh, he he's only first in the first part of the dream only impressed by the beauty of the nocturnal scene and proposes to go for a walk, leave the car and go for a walk. This is a, a big step forward. He gives up the mechanical way of moving through life. And when you walk, you are in much closer touch with nature, but you are also very much slowed down. So uh, you go step by step and you feel the country, you feel the earth, you feel the trees and the air around you much better. So that is the positive change which comes around from this vision on the sky.